I didn't say their snacks ain't good. It's just overrated. Oh, yeah. Very, very expensive. We are going to a little. I thought you said their gas was cheaper. Their gas is. Oh. Nothing else. So you save a dollar seventy-five on gas after you get twenty-two gallons. And then you go in the store and stuff's high. Like these cashews right here. On the shelf, it's like three dollars. And then you get a drink that the shelf says two twenty nine, and you ring them both up, and it's eighteen dollars. I'm pretty sure, yeah. It's like That's what's going on here? The inflation from the time I picked it up off the shelf to the time I got to the daggum um, cashier. Maybe they have a, a Bucky's tax. That's what it is, a Bucky's tax or something. I'm telling you, you know, say two dollars. You get four things for two dollars. That's supposed to be eight. Get to the cashier, thirty six. That's how it is, though. Anyways, we're going to a small gathering of the minds this week. It's called ICAST. It's in Orlando, Florida. A lot of guys fly. It's only six hours from our house. What so, does, what does ICAST stand for? I think it stands for International Convention of Allied Fishermen or something. Allied Sports, Sports something. It's close enough. So, I don't know. We're going to UCAST, and you know, we still have new baits. Rapala's got some stuff that's hitting the market. Just got kind of published yesterday, as far as on social media and stuff like that. Some soft plastics. I've been fishing with them for a little while now. Haven't been fishing with them for a super long time, and I, I was not in the actual design and development product process for these first five baits like it had none of my input went into it but it did have input of a lure designer that is a pretty good fisherman named Jacob Wheeler you know he has caught a bass or two you know contrary to popular belief he has caught a bass in his life so <clears throat> probably gonna be some decent stuff so now we can stop blurring out stuff. Now we don't have to blur it out. We can show the packaging. From here on out, we can show all the crushed shitty stuff. Um, that's what I caught them on. On I caught them on it at Lay Flipping. Caught them on it at Seminole on a swim jig. Okeechobee on a swim jig. I don't think I weighed any on Okeechobee. But I, I threw an Okeechobee and caught some. Lay. So, caught them on a few times here. I caught them on some at... Uh, Sabine, also, on a swim jig. The cleanup crawl on the back of a swim jig. Phenomenal swim jig trailer. But anyways, and then we've got, who else has new stuff coming out? Sunline has one of their biggest product launches they've ever had in history. Some really cool new lines coming out at ICAST this week. So we're gonna show that too, because it's really interesting. Some of the things they're trying to do with line and just make you more efficient on the water. You know, all these things, soft plastics, you can't come out and make something that has never been done before. It's almost impossible. But what you can do is make something 10% better, 20% better, 30% better. Same thing with the line. You can't come out and make a new braided line that nobody's ever heard of because it's already been done, you know? Like when braid first came out, it was revolutionary. Now, it's out, you know? All you can do is make it a little bit stronger for the diameter, a little bit smoother, cast a little bit better last a little bit longer keep the color a little bit longer like that's all you can do is kind of make small little improvements to it and that's what they're trying to do this year so lots of new stuff coming out i don't really know anybody else has got anything coming out you know anything else cool coming out hunter that you know about no we'll go hang out with we'll sunlight we'll show them though gamakatsu i do know black rifle has some new flavors yeah they're not going to be released at ICAST, though. They're not? I mean, they're not an ICAST kind of company. They're bigger. Black Rifle is bigger than ICAST is in general, so they're not going to they're not gonna come and base anything around ICAST, I wouldn't imagine. So, no, they're not. They don't care about ICAST. They do got new some new flavors, though. They got a Vanilla Bomb flavor. Saw that one. I don't have any of them yet, but I'm, I'm kind of jealous because I've seen people drinking them, and I don't have them. We can place that order. We have... Officially arrived at ICAST 2023. 
Don't even have my badge yet. Can't get in, but the wonderful people at Raffler are gonna meet us with them, so we'll be able to get in. I am, I have heard the least amount this year of what the new stuff is gonna be like. I haven't kept up with it very well at all this year. All I know is what's coming out from my sponsors, you know, 13, Sunline, Rapala, all of them have a bunch of new stuff coming out. But outside of that, I don't really know what's coming out. So we'll walk around a little bit, see some cool stuff. Oh, is that true? Yeah. Hey, y'all, look at those locks. Oh my gosh. It died immediately. Y'all look at Goldilocks up here. Hal, take your hat off. Look, his hat. <laughs> His hair. <laughs> you see the hat line? His hair above his hat is completely brown, and where his hat does not go, blonde. That's blonde. Son will do it. Jeff. Monster cigar. <laughs> Hi, Hunter. How are you? Hi. I'm good. I uh, I have you guys badges in, in the room. Yeah. So this whole thing. We're just that far one. Okay. I found the room. I ate all the sandwiches and all the <laughs> nothing, to, nothing to see here. No, I'm in the room's right here. I'm in the room. Crush City is more than just a name to me. It's a lot of days out there on the water. From the hardness to the softness to the durability. I was thinking on the dude there, I was thinking, I'm like, all right, you know, I'm with the drawing bug, and I'm, or the drawing board, and I'm thinking like, all right, what do I do? film that. So there was, whenever we first walked in, there was an entire line. Oh, I got it. Yeah, yeah. you can see the entire, a bunch of Crush City stuff, and now the only thing left is the cleanup crawl. And that's my favorite one of all of them, so. Oh, there's one pack of BLTs, too. You better put it in your pocket. So we got into ICAST yesterday. I went to the Rapala Soft 8, you know, launch, unveiling, whatever you want to call it, and that was pretty cool, really, really busy, but I have not been in the main building yet that where actually all the new products are, so kind of a first look for me, and we're going to go make rounds and hang out with some of my buddies that are sponsors of mine or just some of my friends. We'll hopefully see some really cool new baits because we're always looking for something to give us just that much of an edge on the competition, so maybe we'll go see some cool new smallmouth stuff or something like that that'll help us in the next few tournaments, but just going to look around and find some cool new stuff. Really? Oh yeah. So every one of these grips is all brand new. It's new designs for the VSS. Can we take out? Absolutely. So they're set up for like slow pitch jigging. Yeah. Uh, so you've got the new rear, uh, the actual BRCs and GRCs glued onto them. So it kind of balances out when you're slow pitching. Uh, but you, if you take this off and you go to the smaller butt grip, you can still run it just as you would a normal bass setup. But the thought process here is to go a lot smaller. Yeah. And a lot lighter. Yeah. It will. That's probably. My I've only slipped these jig cards. Oh, have you? But but those reels are so big. Yeah. Like, dude, it's so uncomfortable to hold them. Like, it's, it, yeah. it's so hard, especially if the rod's big. Yep. So the thought is to go smaller and lighter. And then uh, we got the new carbon reel seat with titanium hoods. Makes sense to me. Weighs in at 22 grams. Got a thousand pound crush strength. And it'll hold up to an international 50 on a size 15 reel seat. So never gonna rust, never gonna fail. That thing is nothing. It's self-locking, so whenever you tighten it down, because they changed the thread pattern, so that's a proprietary situation right here. They literally changed the thread size and pattern so that it cannot back off yep. whenever you're fishing with it. But weighing in at 22 grams, and it's got titanium hood. They come in both the regular finish and the dark titanium, so you can get it to match all the rods that we currently offer. And it's lighter than anything else we've got, lighter than anything out there. And the oh, crush strength. So they have a press. What's the inside of them room? Is that's an 11, but it comes in a, an 11, and a 13, and a 15. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the main stage the current Angler of the Year leader, <laughs> Kyle Welcher. What's up, man? How you doing? How you doing? I told you on the, on the podcast that you can get Mercer run for his money. Hey, That's let's do I told it. You. So, hey, I mean, I'm coming for you, Dave Mercer. We're bringing it back. No more Canadians. Merca. <laughs> we, we play the national anthem at Yeah, we play the national anthem at ICAST. Yeah. Let's go, Mercer. <laughs> I'll shave my head if I have to. Yeah. Kyle? How you doing? It's sure yeah, nice for you okay. to see me. <laughs> it is. I agree. How you been, brother? Doing good, doing good. Yeah? So, 
you, are you the one doing the videos? Yeah, I was just doing for my walk a little bit. Yeah. This is for your, your I want, I'm going to be the new float fisher when I'm yeah. tour. Yeah. <laughs> it works for the small mouth a bit. Gave some of that away. So it's going to be a giveaway in Mexico. Right? Buy two for this pen, buy two. Alright, so we're at ICAST 2023. All the Rapala Pros are signing this shirt right here. And it's going to be a giveaway in Mexico for the fans of Rapala and the Rapala Pros. So check it out. Enter to win the Rapala shirt. Sign by all the pros here at ICAST 2023. Hi, man, buddy. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. I got all your. Okay. Just start catching fish on them instantly. But a couple of things that the main, you know, draw to making these salt plastic baits were we need very consistent baits, very consistent actions that are going to catch fish. You know, from South Florida all the way up into New York, smallmouth, largemouth, everything. And they did a super good job with really good shapes, really good colors, and a couple really subtle things that make you know the swim bait better than a lot of other ones, make the flipping bait better than a lot of other ones. But one thing we're going to talk about today is my absolute favorite one, and what I've caught the most fish on right here is the cleanup crawl from Press City. And the thing about this has a very, very unique but consistent action. And that's what I like when I have a crawl bait is I don't want to have to impart a lot of action. For some techniques and then for other techniques, I do want to impart a lot of action. These legs on here are very, very consistent. They have the right amount of kick to have a lot of draw power, but they're still tight enough and you know, close enough together where they don't catch too much butter. They still be able to flip really well with it and stuff like that. So jig trailers, swim jig trailers, flipping it, you know, all the head, wobble heads, all that type of stuff. It's a really, really good bait, and it's got these very unique ones hidden on the side of the quiver and give it actually a different action in the water whenever you're sitting still. They're all so, this has been my favorite one so far. Uh, I'm, I'm just learning to love them all and catch the fish with all of them. All right, Kyle, how does it feel to be leading progressive angler of the year? It feels good to have a shot, but mean, leading it right now doesn't mean a whole lot. All right, the question all of our fans want to know is your recent success, well, I mean, you've had success, but your recent success from the hair? I believe it must be. Fantastic. Is there a specific uh, conditioner that you use that we want to tell everyone in the, the bass fishing world that's, that's something secretive? So I'm going to tell you, the way bass fishing is went, we don't have any secrets left, so I'm going to keep, I'm going to keep that one. Fair. That's one secret I want to keep. Fair. All right, last question. Heading up to work for the Northern Swing, how do you feel about some smallies? I'm ready to get it started. I'm ready. I just want to see how it shakes out. There it is. The name, you know Gerald's. Where's it at? How you get to there's the video? <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm gonna sit behind you. Start, all right, all right. what's going on, Gerald? I pre got, got your buddy here with me, and I appreciate you. I've been watching the channel for so long, and I appreciate it. All the comments, all the messages, I really do appreciate it. And thank you, especially for you got on super early, so I really appreciate it. What you got to say? Mark it down on July. Well. July 12th, 2023. <laughs> Cal Welcher. A couple of hours after happy hour. Cal Welcher, Angler of the Year. We're going to win it on the lake or we're going to win it in the parking lot. One of the two. 